Hello and welcome to Storyboard. I'm Shibani Gharat. United Breweries has launched premium beer brand Amstel Grand in India. On the sidelines of the launch, I caught up with Vikram Bal, Chief Marketing Officer of United Breweries and spoke to him about the importance of premium segment for UB's long-term growth strategy. With the rise of craft beers and changing consumer preferences, how does United Breweries plan to stay relevant in the ever-evolving beer market and much more? Listen in. So you're launching Amstel Grand in India. That's a significant step um, into the premium category for uh, you guys. Uh, tell us more with your vision and plans with Amstel Grand. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, we are really excited to bring this launch to India. Amstel is one of the top beer brands in the world. It's present in over 100 countries, has been around for 150 years. Uh, but what is really exciting is that we are bringing the Amstel expertise, uh, but customizing it for India. So this is a beer that has been specially developed for India. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been developed in partnership with our brewmasters in Amsterdam, along with our local R&D. Uh, so specially crafted for Indian tastes. Uh, we've tested the product with consumers, great results. But the secret recipe of this product is actually time. So this is slow brewed and matured for longer. And, and that's what results in its flavors being fully developed uh, and its uh, smooth taste and texture. And which demographics or you know which regions uh, do you expect uh, this beer to do well? You know, uh, we are starting out with Maharashtra, but we are going to roll it out, you know, through the country as time progresses. Uh, it's a premium beer, so it's going to start in the urban centers first, uh, probably the, the little bit more affluent class first. Uh, but it's premium, but it's, I think, still fairly accessible. So our, our plan will be for it to really permeate down the line uh, as we go along. And if you can also walk us through how important is the premium segment for United Breweries? Beer right now... The premium segment is 11-12% by volume, maybe around 15%, 16% by value. But it's growing really fast. It's, it's growing much faster than the overall categories. So, so it's an exciting opportunity and uh, uh, we want to not only participate in it, but actually shape the categories. And how do you uh, uh, see Amstel Grand appealing to this increasing uh, preference of consumers moving towards craft beer? fresh from the tap? Look, uh, consumers, especially at the premium end, seek variety. So they're looking for different experiences, different products, they have repertoires. So there is a role that craft has to play where you, know, you go to a microbrewery and consume something. Uh, but there are other times when you want to have you know, bottled beers or beer on tap. Uh, there is beer you want to get at home. So there are various needs that consumers have. and. Uh, so there is a specific role for craft, there is a specific role for something like this. But uh, all I can say is that, uh, you know, at the end of the day, this is, I would say, uh, with high level of confidence, this is a beer consumers are totally going to love. And can you also uh, share with us certain trends on where is the maximum consumption of beer happening in India today? Is it at home? Is it at pubs, at bars? How is India drinking beer? It's, it's happening all over. Uh, majority of consumption still will be at home, but a lot of consumption happens on what we call on-premise. Um, and for new brands especially, uh, you know, at, at bars and restaurants is where initial trials happen. So, so for Amstel, for example, for us, the priority is going to be to make sure we are there at the right places at the right time. You know, we get consumers to experience the product. And once they like the product, they, you know, uh, purchase it for in-home consumption as well. Yeah. And you, you touched upon premiumization. Uh, of late, you also launched Heineken Silver yes. uh, in the country. So overall, if you can also tell us more about, uh, you know, your premiumization strategy, considering, you know, it's a big trend over the past one year, year and a half or so. And with Amstel Grand, you have another product 
uh, yes. in the in the segment so if you see the beer market in india and and that's true for the premium segment also uh, some people like mild beers and some people like strong beers right mm. so for people who really like mild beers we have heineken silver so heineken silver is this what we call a really sessionable beer very low on bitterness very delicate taste 100% malt it's brewed horizontally etc but it's a mild beer uh so that fulfills that need but there is there is a lot of demand for premium strong beers and that's where amstel grande comes in and that's why amstel grande is something specifically designed for this need of indian consumers even at the premium end to have strong beers so it fulfills that need but when you deliver a strong beer you want to make sure that is not too bitter so that's the wonderful balance that amstel grande has that it's it's got you know it's a strong beer yet it's really sessionable really smooth and it's an enjoyable experience yeah. moving away from premiumization if you look at beer as a category uh, in the alco bev industry do beer makers such as yourself and wearing a marketers hat if i may ask you do you look at you know the other beer makers the uh, the growth of you know local players the coming in of certain international brands uh, to india do you look at them as your competition or is it you know your spirits your single malts your gins of the world where we have seen an increasing consumption uh, of spirits over the past uh, couple of uh, months as well look uh, as i think you you would probably know beer's penetration is still uh and uh, the volumes of beer in this country are uh, on a per capita consumption quite low hmm. so there's a lot of headroom for beer to grow uh so i think if you ask me the number one opportunity and the way we define it for ourselves we are here as category makers not category takers so we want to grow the category so that's the number one priority and i think some of the natural tailwinds that are there you know as the country is becoming more prosperous as people are socializing more as people are looking for more moderate drinking occasions where you just want to have a good time with friends beer is ideally suited for that so there are tailwinds for the beer category to develop and we will enable that even more by bringing in these sessionable you know relatively if you compare to other alcoholic forms it's a moderate uh, form of alcohol so you know fulfilling the need of socializing having a good time with friends bonding with friends over a drink i think beer is very well pitched to do that so if you ask me the number one priority as the market leader in beer for us is to really grow the category i think competition we always welcome for competition because the more competition comes in the, the more innovation comes in mm. i think it's good for the category and everybody benefits by that yeah and what are the headwinds then if uh, these uh, you mentioned some of the tailwinds what are the headwinds for beer as a category how do you look at some of the headwinds uh, that are affecting the category you know of course it's a highly as you know it's a highly regulated complex industry so sometimes that can be a challenge uh, to make the product available there is very limited distribution just for context you know beer and alcohol is available in only 95000 outlets in the country just compare that to fmcg where you have 12 million stores so you know accessibility is a little bit of a challenge uh and you know those kind of complexities so the, I, i would say that would be that taxation. would be the, that is that is one of the biggest challenges that the industry faces uh but otherwise from a consumer standpoint macroeconomic standpoint i think they are just tailwinds for the category yeah and you mentioned how the per capita consumption of beer in india is still low as compared to some of the other markets so uh, given your experience what according to you would will drive uh, you know this uh, consumption in the country how will it grow since you mentioned there is a tremendous headroom for growth as well i think that will uh, drive uh, beer uh, as a category to grow is innovation so as you have more interesting new offerings designed to meet the needs of indian consumers and that's why amstel grande is so good because it's not that we have lifted and shifted something which is available globally but we have developed it specially for india so you know you have innovation like that it's availability i think one very very important thing for beer as a category at the end of the day 
beer is actually a refreshing drink. So making sure that it's available cold, it's visible to you. You go to a shop and you see cold, chilled beer in this hot tropical climate that we have, it'll, it'll be a natural choice. Today, that is not the case. We, you know, as an industry, we haven't done a great job of making our product visible, making it available cold. So those are some of the things that will help the category to grow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, you know, Kingfisher, which is your brand, which is synonymous uh, with beer in India yeah. for so many years now. So coming from UB, coming from United Breweries, how do you balance the legacy of this brand Kingfisher along with all of these new launches and innovations that, you know, you put forth in front of the consumer? We are blessed to be in such a big, diverse country, right? So there is opportunity at every level. And, and we say in India, it's not actually, it's of course about making choices, but it's making multiple choices, it's not a single choice. We can do Kingfisher, nurture it, grow it, and leverage it fully while doing these innovations also. There is enough headroom in this country to cater to the different consumer segments. So there are people who are looking for premium, uh, you know, craft, etc etc those kind of beers there are people who are looking for more mainstream kind of beers so there is opportunity across the spectrum in the country and again with our scale with our distribution we have the capability to do multiple things all right vikram thank you so much thanks for joining us thank you so much for having me here it is time for a short break on the other side we have martin john Skoda auto board member for sales and marketing speaking about their plans for the india market